Not only are these muffins totally gorgeous, but they are a really easy recipe for showing off those baking skills. So we're gonna start with the boring stuff first, the dry ingredients, but don't worry, it goes by really, really fast. We're gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour to a little mixing bowl here, followed by two teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Baking powder is gonna make your muffins light and airy and puffed up and the baking soda is gonna add a little bit of tenderness to them, but be sure that you don't mix up the two. They do not work the same and your muffins will not be as delicious as promised. And then lastly, we're gonna add a half teaspoon of fine sea salt. Give it a little whisk. What's gonna help get these lemon muffins extra lemony is the zest of two lemons. It would help if I had the zester in the right direction to begin. Make sure that you don't zest all the way into the pith. That's where the lemon starts to get a little bitter. But on the exterior, you have all these great citrus oils that just amplify the flavor. Now don't ditch these lemons. We're gonna juice them in just a second. We'll whisk in the zest. So we've got our wet ingredients here. We're gonna start with the lemons and we're gonna squeeze a third of a cup of fresh lemon juice. Two, <laughs> two large eggs. Give this a whisk. And then we're gonna stream in a half cup of melted and slightly cooled butter. Next goes in about one and a half teaspoon of vanilla. And now we're gonna really get down to business. I'm just gonna combine my lemon juice with a third of a cup of buttermilk plus one tablespoon. And I'm gonna start adding in my dry ingredients, about a third of the dry ingredients going in. Whisk. Once that looks pretty well combined, we'll add about half of this lemon buttermilk mixture here. Another third of the dry ingredients. Whisk, whisk, whisk. And then the other half, this buttermilk lemon combination here is going to make your muffins so soft and so tender. And then I'm gonna add in the last third of those dry ingredients and I'm actually gonna switch out my whisk at this point for a rubber spatula. The batter tends to get a little clingy to those whisks, whisk tines, whisk, what is it called? <laughs> anyway, it clings to the whisk. And if you bring in this rubber spatula here, it'll also help you to make sure that everything's coming up from the bottom and over the sides, keeps us from over mixing. So we're just running down the center, scooping up and over and folding. There's absolutely zero point in making beautiful, delicious lemon muffins if you cannot get them out of your muffin pan. So you're gonna line the muffin pan with parchment paper muffin liners, and then you're going to spritz the muffin liners and the muffin tin with some cooking spray. And I'm actually gonna use a little ice cream scoop with a lever handle to start getting these muffins into the liners. These are gonna go in a 400 degree oven and we're gonna bake them for about 15 minutes. I'll show you a little trick for how to determine exactly when they're done. Muffins are all baked, they smell and look amazing. We're not done with them yet. We still have a topping to add, but I just wanna show you a little trick for how to tell when your muffins are baked. You just wanna give the muffin a really gentle poke. And if the muffin starts to spring back upward, your muffins are ready. As soon as your muffins are cool enough to handle, go ahead and take them out of the pan and pop them onto a cooling rack. This will help to speed up the cooling process. I'm also gonna go ahead and get the wrappers off of the muffin. And while we're at it, let's just break into a muffin so I can show you just how perfect they are inside. Come get close, okay. come on. Look at this. You got it? Yeah. Okay. Look at that texture. It's so good buttery and soft and perfect and lemony, but we're not done yet. Try not to dig into too many. We've still got the glaze to go. The muffins are totally cool to the touch. And now what we're gonna do is whip up that glaze 
It's really, really easy. You're gonna start with one cup of powdered sugar, and we found the most gigantic lemon ever. And we're just gonna add, you want just under three tablespoons of lemon juice, just enough to really liquefy the mixture here. And then the last thing we're gonna add is just a little pinch of salt. Grab your whisk. Now, if your glaze is looking too thick, you can always add a little more lemon juice. And if it's looking too thin, you can add a little more powdered sugar. I wanna thin it out just a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a teensy bit more lemon juice here. Perfect, this is exactly the drizzle I'm looking for. Got a sheet of wax paper here, just gonna lay this down, place my cooling rack right on top. And now we're gonna start drizzling away. Just add that right over the top and let it run over the sides. And you can use your spoon to help it move over a little bit. So here's the drizzle. You can let this set and be totally done, but if you wanna make them extra, extra pretty, if you have a really special occasion happening and you just want them to be as dainty as all get out, we're gonna to have to top them with a cute little lemon wheel. <laughs> we used up all our small lemons earlier, and really, ideally, this topper is better with a small lemon, but we're gonna see what we can do with this big guy here. What I'm doing is I am just cutting really thin little rounds out of this lemon here. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna cut a little slit. And what we're wanting is for the lemon to be able to sit just like this on top of the muffin. So it'll go a little something like this. It is undeniably the most perfect lemon muffin in the world. If y'all are on the hunt for more amazing brunch recipes, be sure to check out my playlist, Recipes for Winning at Brunch.